Has he struck again? Another burglar caught on tape that looks a lot like the last one. Good afternoon. An Albuquerque neighborhood is getting nervous after two separate burglaries caught on camera, and it may be the same guy at work. News 13's Cole Miller is live near Lomas and Washington with the video. Cole. Well, good afternoon, Kim. It was the middle of the afternoon right around now when both of those homes were hit. Neighbors and businesses near here are taking notice after those break ins. One where the guy had a gun. I intend to find a new place to live because whenever this happens twice, it doesn't really feel like home anymore. It's, it's kind of scary. Imagine watching a stranger rummaging through your home. Neil Werbelow had a front row seat. I decided to invest in security camera. Sure enough, I was sitting at work and it, it detected motion and sent me the video. An old iPhone showing this man stealing a TV, bike, and a bunch of other stuff yesterday afternoon at his home near Lomas in Washington. The burglar then realizes he's being watched. It doesn't feel good. The bill, a big one. We're below out a lot of money. It's roughly 3000 at the moment. This, just after a week ago, a very similar picture. Take a look at this guy, seen bustling around a home just six blocks away near Lomas and Morningside. It's not his place. He steals 5000 bucks worth of stuff. The homeowner also at work, and this guy has a gun. Now neighbors and even local businesses are on high alert. To have stuff like this happening, especially while we are... Uh open and, and people are here is kind of concerning. Jespa Torres runs a nearby tattoo shop. I guess a little bit of the activity from uh, Central has crept over this way over the past five years. And that's prompted changes. We've installed lights because of that. Similarly, Werbelow says it's better to be proactive than reactive. Invest in some kind of security system. It's worth the money. Um, there's not much you can do to prevent this from happening, but this is just another step. And both of those bad guys appear to be pretty thin with thick eyebrows, a mustache, and big ears. But, Kim, it's not clear if we're looking at the same guy in each one of those break-ins. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Cole. Now, police say they are following leads in the first burglary, the one on Lomas and Morningside, but they have not named a suspect.